What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today was a massive day in Winnipeg Jets history as the third captain of franchise history in Jets 2.0 has been named and it's Adam Lowry. Now a lot of people were very excited about Adam Lowry being the captain. A lot of people thought that you know this is the perfect choice and a lot of people were you know kind of on the fence about it. Weren't really sure. Thought that maybe Josh Morrissey deserved it more and you know I can kind of see both sides of that but I've had all day to ponder this. I haven't had time to make this video you know during the day or as early as I would like but I'm happy I didn't because I, I've just kind of thought through you know how I feel about the Adam Lowry uh, you know being appointed captain in the situation that the Jets are in right now and to be totally honest I think I I kind of like it so you know I'm, I'm a guy that's been you know pushing for Josh Morrissey to be the captain you know since the beginning of last season I thought that he was a guy that was really you know coming really putting everything going on the line night in night out improving he just he just seemed like a leader he was leading the Jets right even when they were struggling in the second half of the year it seemed like he was just that driving force and you know going forward and, you know Adam Lowry there was 42 games this year where the guy didn't have a goal he was very invisible at times and you know just that alone kind of made me think okay you know what Adam Lowry maybe shouldn't be the captain but at the end of the year he did have a very good you know last 10 and 10 or so games big reason why the Jets made it into the playoffs as they were fighting for the last eighth uh, wildcard spot there the last playoff spot and um hey he had an incredible playoff he scored the tying goal there in game three live in attendance I was there that was unbelievable core memory for me that was such a fun game but you know what, at the end of the day, I still thought Josh Morrissey would get the captaincy. Now, Josh Morrissey has five years left on his deal. And I'm a big believer that Josh Morrissey is going to be a Jet for life. And I also think that, you know, Adam Lowry has a, you know, pretty decent chance of being a Jet for life too. Just the way that, you know, True North is so loyal to their players, right? So I think both those guys are going to be playing for a little while. But the key with Adam Lowry is that he has three years left. He's three years left on his contract. That's two less years than Josh Morrissey. Now, Adam Lowry is 30 years old at this current moment. He does play like a very gritty game, right? He's not a guy that's probably going to play till he's 36, 37 years old. I don't think his body's going to let him. So, you know, once those three years are up, maybe the Jets move on from him. Maybe Adam Lowry moves on, right? Who knows how long he's going to be playing. But in three seasons, a guy that's going to be on the team is Rucker McGrory. And I firmly believe that he will be the fourth captain in Jets 2.0 history. I really do. And I think that the organization is thinking that way as well. I don't think that they want to wait five, six, seven years to give Rucker the C, uh, you know, as they would have to with Josh Morrissey, maybe even longer if he does resign past his current deal. And if that is what they're thinking, and I strongly believe that it is, I'm okay with that. I, I kind of like it, to be totally honest, because... For once, the Jets have a vision, right? Assuming that's what the vision is. Maybe, you know, this is just Adam Lowry being the bridge captain and, and totally deserving of it, by the way. He's a great community guy. He's great in the locker room. All the players, you know, seem to have a really warm uh, just response to him getting the seat today. Everybody seemed to have really, really been on board with the decision. So the room likes it us fans if you don't like it it doesn't really matter at the end of the day right it doesn't matter what we think if if he's good in the room if the guys like him that's perfect that's what we want so adam lauer getting the c i don't think is as big of a deal as people as some people are making it out to be there's obviously a lot of people that love adam lowry i love adam lowry but i do understand the argument with you know him being largely invisible for half the season do you want that guy as captain? I totally get that argument. I totally understand it. And I subscribe to it a little bit, right? Obviously, Josh Morrissey would be a lot more fun as the captain. Had such a great season last year. Really, you know, came out and proved that he is an elite defenseman. And that was great. And I do think that he could be captain material. But Adam Lowry is just a guy that in the community is fantastic. He's great in the locker room. Everybody seemed very happy with it. I mean, you can't really argue with the decision. I don't think it's one that's going to hurt the Jets and hey if he can take the burden of wearing the C go to the media and you know take on those tough tasks of you know taking on the the tough questions I think that's great he does that anyway without the C right we didn't see guys like Mark Shifley doing that pretty much his entire career we didn't see even Blake Wheeler doing that when he wore the C right 
So I think Adam Lowry being the captain, I think that he will be taking accountability for when the team plays bad, and I think that he'll be there to say, hey, we did a good job when the team does well. So I'm very happy with the decision after a while thinking about it. Initially, when I heard about it, I was a little annoyed, right? I'm, I'm all Josh Morrissey. I'm a big Morrissey guy. But at the end of the day, I think that Adam Lowry is a fine choice. And if he's going to be the captain for the next three years, and then they hand it off to, you know, uh, Rucker McGrory or a Kobe Barlow, that's totally good with me. And uh, I'm just happy that, you know, we're kind of looking in that direction, it seems, right? Because, yeah, I don't know. That's just my thoughts on it. But that's enough for me, guys. I want to hear down below what you guys have to say about Adam Lowry being named the Jets captain for the upcoming season. Um, are you guys happy with it? Are you guys disappointed with it? Is there somebody other than Josh Morrissey that you'd rather see don the sea? I'd love to hear from you guys. And yeah, so I'm going to hop on out of here. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Season's approaching really fast. We're going to have tons more content here on the way. It's going to be a really fun season, and I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, guys, go Jets go. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.